How's it going guys? Thank you for your time here. So today in this video, we're going to be doing some uh, review coverage of the Z Fold 5, my guys. So yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> yo, 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 what's up guys? Uh, take your time here. So yeah, we're doing a review. Get it moving, boys. Yeah, so we got basically all the Google apps. I'm in a folder right here. As you can see, the nice display makes uh, folders really great. Messages and all that. So I actually have it in something called maintenance mode, and it pretty much allows you to send the device in uh, without having to uh, risk any of your files being you know, taken advantage of or things like that. So yeah, it pretty much is also perfect for reviews. So you guys don't see anything uh, sensitive that I don't want you to see. So yeah, um, yeah. so you have obviously like all the files, everything like that, which is uh, pretty, pretty fantastic. Yeah, so obviously the main attraction is the display, um, of course, and absolutely that's my favorite thing about it. So yeah, we're going into the camera. And so as you can see, it's very uh, detailed right up front, looking very good. Um, you can zoom in super far too. Also, this thing is super cool, man. You can essentially uh, have the photo on the cover, um, and so it allows you to essentially have a, a literal view of the nice camera on the phone right up front. And this is definitely a unique feature to foldables, and I have only really owned a fold before, so I don't know if the Xiaomi foldables and all those have it or not, but this is something really cool that's unique to Samsung. So we got the portrait, uh, portrait mode going, you know what I mean? We got all the features. I'm pretty much just going to be showing you uh, the camera and a few more, I believe. Yeah, so, you know, we got the basic photo. We got the front facing camera, which is good for, uh, I actually use this just to record any of the, um, what do you call it? Reels we've seen. So yeah. And so video is looking fantastic. Uh, I thought you could open it up maybe, but it actually seems like it closes it. But yeah, the internal camera isn't bad too, man. You know, it's not the per it's not perfect, but it's not terrible as well. I wanted to switch that over to 8K just so you guys can really see how far these devices can just zoom in uh, and how awesome this is. Like, just look at that zoom, bro. Easily amazing. Like, just that detail, bro, is just unparalleled. That is like insane of course you could probably get something like that on the s23 ultra but for a foldable man this this camera is top quality man the other thing you're going to get is a lot of uh software support um the other tablets out there um essentially don't have the level of time put into them um because samsung was obviously the first to take the plunge into foldables so all the kinks are pretty much worked out with the samsung device so yeah here's the galaxy store it is a bit laggy just because I am in maintenance mode and it doesn't prioritize like, you know, refresh rate and things like that as uh, the device is pretty much just getting repaired. So, of course, they probably would like to try and preserve battery. But yeah, so you have a basic dialer, you know, basic messages, but you can you can um, basically <laughs> you can switch between the different apps at the bottom and you can do multi app multitasking as well. So you can actually do three of them. Um, just so you can even put the camera. So like, let's say you want to just immediately, you know, take advantage of the gallery. Once you have taken the photo, you take it and pop right into the gallery, which I think is fantastic. Uh, definitely a very unique thing to this phone. Um, other foldables, I would assume have something similar, but I still think that this is fantastic. Yeah, and as you can see, Samsung internet looking fantastic. Of course, uh, you can install ad blockers, which I think is fantastic. Uh, definitely gets rid of stuff like this, you know, all the pop-ups and things like that. I don't, I don't personally have them installed right now, but it's very, it's very easy. It's easy, as easy as going to settings. Yeah. So we got the dialer, you know what I mean? Boop, 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 boop. You know what I mean? So you can switch sides to, I guess, one side if it's easier for you to dial based on what hand, hand to use if you are doing a one-handed Yeah, so, you know, you have, like, all your uh, basic settings. Nothing really too standout-ish about this device. It's pretty much all your basic Android settings. Um, really nothing too special. I think that, um, I mean, this stuff is cool. You know, light and dark mode and adaptive brightness, motion smoothness. Eye Comfort Shield basically uh, turns down the blue light. You have the refresh rate option, the full screen mode. You can choose which apps also, uh, I went in there quick, but you can choose which apps, like, how they display so if you want it to be just like the actual portrait app or the stretched app, you know what I mean? You can kind of switch between them per app. And then here, you, know, you have the accidental touch protection, touch sensitivity if you have gloves or a screen protector. Uh, it'll show charging information. You, know, you, have, you can have a screen saver as well. Um, so wallpaper and style, there's a feature wallpaper. So there's your gallery and there are the graphical ones. So as you can see here, I'm just applying one of them. Um, so it's looking good. You can obviously customize lock screen as well um, if you would like, but... Um, yeah, it's really awesome being able to change the grid 
icons as well. Um, if you'd like more in-depth customization, you can always install something like Nova Launcher or Apex Launcher. Those are my favorite, especially when I want a stock Android experience. Um, but yeah, another thing you can do is you can go on the RAM and you can find out which is taking up the RAM and install those features or freeze the features, whatever you prefer. That's what I do. Um, but yeah, this is security, privacy, location. Um, if you're wondering the maintenance mode, what's in security and privacy? Um, there's accounts and backup. There is the Google services, the advanced features. You have everything from the S Pen, motion and gestures, to video call effects, to something like Palm, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> going pretty quick here but you guys get the idea there are a lot of things you can do um that are really great you can also get you can also get this thing called labs and it allows you to do experimental features um another thing too um i did not mention but you can see the in-depth usage uh that you could see on the red magic 8s pro plus um and keep an eye out for the comparison between this phone and the red magic 8s pro plus because those are two pretty much oddball phones um prioritizing different things that are not necessarily sought after by the majority of people when they're looking for a phone so yeah keep in mind that review is coming next just in time for i send that baby away i might do an 8s versus um s23 ultra real quick too but yeah if you're looking for a solid camera dude the s23 ultra is amazing i use it for every bit of my recording it's just unmatched yeah so you have just all the basic apps man yeah you know what i mean it's just oh, i wanted to show you guys just kind of how everything looks um literally the as you can see the black part literally doubles the thickness so as you can tell it already is moderately thin um and that essentially makes it so when you fold the phone up, it's only like about a few millimeters taller than any kind of regular phone. Um, if you guys look at my unboxing, I do have a comparison without the case. If you want to go ahead and look into that. I want to show you guys the cameras. I really liked how there was the gray, the dark gray, and the different shade of gray on the lenses. I just think like little details like that are what makes Samsung uh, have such wonderful devices. I really like how the buttons are flush on the side. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's really cool. Uh, it has like, you know, the little animation, the front facing screen is really nice too. You know, it is wider than the one on the three. I didn't really have a use for the one on the three. I don't really use this, but I, um, but if you are looking to unblur applications, you want to open applications from the front screen. So you will see what I mean in a minute. Apologies for that hair sticking out pretty nasty. I did not realize that was there. We have some cats in the house. So of course, so you see how that fold looks a little bit wider because they have a more um it's more of an obtuse angle um with the unfold process so it's not as sharp meaning that it's not going to bend the screen as much when it's folded up obviously or at least like the crease is not as tight if that makes sense so it will be a little bit easier on the uh foldable glass as well which is just like this i think it's like plastic i'm pretty sure some some variant of that and yeah the plastic feels nice um don't worry about the screen getting messed up guys like i feel like a lot of people worry about that but yeah actually real quick in that toggle setting you can hit the sound thing multiple times to change between the sound on and vibrate and all that you can turn on power saver you can actually do an ultimate power saving mode that which blacks up the screen and only does the applications if you are in a situation where you need to save battery and it's kind of like you only need calls and texting uh, I recommend just switching that on when you're not doing much with the phone. Um, you can do all things like that. You know, you can add different features and stuff like that. And, and yeah, um, basically it's a Samsung One UI, man, on top of Android. Like there's not much to it that's very special, um, but it doesn't mean that it's slouching either. You know what I mean? It's a very good, if you want to like a very stable Android experience with a lot of features that surpass just the default ones you get with stock Android, um, Samsung is the way to go, man. They've been pushing out phones since the original Galaxy S which was the Samsung Vibrant on T-Mobile back in 2008, I believe, when I was in middle school. That phone was so cool. The display just looked unmatched. And even back then, like, thinking back then, the acceptable um, quality of phones comparatively to now is just so different. Um, but yeah, I was getting out of that mode, and I wanted to show you guys uh, something pretty cool, too. When you get out of maintenance mode, you need the fingerprint or a face ID to do it, so they really can't access any of your info, which is very fantastic. Uh, of course, a classic feature of Android, the pattern unlock uh, has not been touched by Apple, uh, and it will never be touched by Apple. Boy, it's a classic Android feature, my guy. Um, but yeah, just kind of scrolling through, trying to show you guys the quick scrolling. But yeah, this is what I was talking about with the RuneScape. So if you open it up on the main screen, you're not going to have to deal with the weird outstretch kind of crappy thing. So you want to go in, you want to sign in. And this is really with anything that is blurry when you fold it up on the inside. You just want to start the game on the outside, and then you'll have the opportunity like to where you're playing it and you're in the game. And then when you open it up, it's going to retain the same high quality um, as you can see here. Um, if you look, it takes a minute for me to zoom in, but as you can see, no reduction in. I did not realize how tiny the room was. So you have to zoom like pretty much right by your character for the screen to zoom in 
or at least in the center. Um, I didn't know if flipping it would help, but yeah, as you can see, the crease is there, but you don't notice it unless it's direct sunlight. In most cases, you're not going to see, you're not going to be, you're not going to be in direct sunlight unless you're, you know, outside. If you're outside a ton, I mean, this is pretty cool for productivity purposes, but I mean, this is more of a device for people who are homebodies and just want like a portable tablet, essentially. Um, but yeah, as you can see, guys, way clearer than anything before, um, by far. So my sword is called Swordy Make Sword Face because there is a boss named, um, Bossy Make Boss Face. It's so dumb. Like, I don't know. I find that stuff funny. Like, they, the game doesn't take itself seriously, and I really enjoy that, um, but it knows when to. Escape strikes that balance. I was like, there's music playing, I'm pretty sure, which I was like, yo, what's good? But yeah, like, guys, look at that beautiful quality, man. It really just sets this thing apart. I would say longevity wise, this thing does kind of freeze up sometimes, but I haven't, but I've experienced it actually worse on the, actually, yeah, it's a little bit worse on here. So this being a desktop port, you see like, did you see that, that little frame skip? You know, you, you have to deal with that sometimes. Um, being it's a big demand on the processor and RAM, hopefully uh, with time it gets better. And I'm, if you guys are worried about the crease, man, it's not as noticeable. It just looks this way in camera when there is light behind it shining on it. Um, I promise you, it's so much more doable in person. You don't even notice it, so I would not worry unless they're on a weird angle. But yeah, I'm surprised they killed this greater demon so fast. But they redid the wilderness if you haven't played in a while, and these things look beast as crap, bro. I also have this thing on where it allows me to um, essentially open up. It's like a present that opens for the loot animation. Then I have loot beams. So it pretty much just tells me what's there. And then I can pick up all the stuff that's dropped from these monsters. There are some pretty solid drops from Greater and Lesser Demons. But yeah, I mean, it looks fantastic. Like the graphics are just mind-blowing. The wilderness is not what it used to be. You don't have to be scared of getting killed, which is nice because there's just a lot of dead content. Because a lot of people went out there that didn't like it. Another thing that RuneScape has is now they take taxes out of your grant exchange purposes so that they can pretty much fund the economy the same way so it doesn't take a huge hit but it allows you to recover faster so if you die in a boss you don't have to spend a million gold pieces to get your stuff back if it was like you know really expensive so yeah um, hopefully you enjoy that little runescape gameplay you know we got all the other stuff we have four player reactor cod warzone we have ether sx2 which is some kingdom hearts 2 gameplay you know the classic one i always go to just the classic set up my guy looking fresh on these e fold really just unmatched the amount of real estate you have and the more square design makes it feel like you're playing on a ps2 because crt tvs were the default man it was literally like a box at least at least around the actually it was a little bit more widescreen around this time as you can see it's cut off a little bit but but it was still around to have crt tvs so yeah my guy of course you get the usual spot so disney does a great job of just making the entire room look so like just gorgeous looking man it's it's so creative and just comforting and it feels these games feel like home man i love it so much um of course just kind of running around and things like that if you guys want a full game playthrough where i literally just do kingdom hearts in parts let me know um because i have not done a full playthrough on a device ever but i feel like this might be the device to do it um this is still a great device for gaming even though it is media centric and especially for ps2 i mean these graphics the graphics card in here is fantastic and also if you're considering uh enabling virtual ram like vram don't worry it is real um, VRAM, so virtual RAM actually is prioritized towards game graphics. So when you're enabling VRAM, you're making your, um, the graphics have more room to do things essentially. Like there's more room for your graphics to run better. So definitely enable VRAM. I have 20 gigs on here right now because there's up to eight gigabytes of extended VRAM. The regular 12 gigs of RAM handles background processes where the VRAM is specifically for graphics processing which pretty much expands the ability of your GPU. So yeah, um, as you can see, I'm just hopping around, slicing, we got the Star Wand thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, like it's such a cute little town and yeah, man, uh, classic, classic experience. I wanted to do some Genshin Impact, but you know, the problem is I did not have it downloaded and I'm not gonna sit here and make you guys wait for the 40 to 50 gig insane amount of space that Genshin Impact takes up. I'm sure there are other videos where they, I was like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> I'm sure there are other instances of videos where, oh, actually it skipped a ton. Whoa, okay. Oh, it only needed a little bit of an update. Okay, well, I did not notice that, so I didn't play through, but if you guys want a Genshin Impact gameplay, let me know, and I can actually do a specific video on it. I haven't neglected the ADAS Pro as well. I do play it sometimes, um, the ADAS Pro Plus, uh, Prime Magic, but I am very much attached right now to this folding device, especially for as much as I can do. So right here, I have a hack on 
It's like, so this isn't like the, wouldn't say that the game quality for here is exactly identical. It's going to be glitchy the first part because I think I hit an invisible car and get stuck behind it. And then I can't really move. Uh, but I think it's an anti-cheat feature they might have thrown in there. I don't really know. But basically this just allows me to win every single race, get a bunch of money so I can buy the dope cars, uh, which is my favorite part. Of course it defeats the purpose of racing, but I kind of like to get all the cars and then just like sweep the field. Um, and yeah. I mean, that's what I liked with that CSR2 hack that I had a while back where I literally would just, I deleted it because it was the format that was bothering me. I wanted the same format on all my videos for channel uniformity, but it was basically very much me buying literally everything for free. Like I literally had unlimited uh, everything and that game is a huge rig, CSR2. It's a huge ripoff because of the fact that I literally had hacked settings to where, yeah, see, I hit something and mm -hmm. I don't know, you know what I mean? I don't even know what's going on here. So I kind of had to, you know, I didn't really know what to do. But yeah, basically in CSR 2, I had unlimited everything and I basically had everything bought for every car and I still couldn't beat one of the races, which means I had to spend more money. And I was just like, this is ridiculous. If I have a literal hack on and I can't beat these things, it's like, how hard is it for somebody in real life? Like how much money is somebody dumping into this game? <laughs> it's also funny that it doesn't say hidden, it says hided. <laughs> Clearly the person who did this is very visual or doesn't speak English, something like that. But yeah, so we are able to try this again, my guy. I have the 2002 Nissan, whatever the hell this is called. But yeah, as you can see, they just keep getting, um, they keep crashing and dropping, so that's how they avoid that. I was looking for some graphical settings, but I did not find any, unfortunately. Um, so definitely quite the bummer for sure. Not the end of the world, but not the best scenario either. Yeah, so we, we're hitting that steam drift, bro. It was good. You know, it was pop Yeah, I mean, I, I love the environment. I love how it literally just feels like a PS3 game. That's what all these are reminding me of. Like, it literally just feels like I'm playing PS3. And that's what's really great about this. Um, you know, being able to take PS3 games on the road, especially with ray tracing, you see like the reflection on like the taillights and things like that. Like little details like that are what is taking mobile gaming to the next level that it really wasn't at before. Yeah, so I wanted to show a little bit more of the fold and just kind of dinking around. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so that was my first video. The next one I want to show you guys was just some video play. So I don't really know what I picked, but you can obviously scroll through it pretty fast. You can change the orientation things like that. That orientation will come into play in a little bit when I am able to show you what that does. I just kind of forget this part. I mean, no, I don't even remember. I don't even, I don't even remember. The first time I picked up Ultra, I thought, oh no. This is the boy. This the boss with the crazy editing skills. Looking dope. Always has the sick background. Always has quality. Always has the movement. Always has the text. This guy is like a legend, man. He deserves all the money he makes. I just, I don't know how he does it. It's probably is really no, but that is the goal. Obviously with my videos, I don't know if I'll ever get there to be honest. Um, but hopefully I end up picking up some subs. I appreciate everybody who's supporting the channel and everything like that so far. Yes. Yeah, so you pretty much, you know, we got YouTube music, just everything like that. I didn't want to play anything because I didn't want to face any copyright or anything like that. I'm trying to monetize the videos, of course. Um, but yeah, the next thing I wanted to show you was some games that you can play essentially. Actually, I don't know if I do that or not. We will see what I end up doing. It might be customization. Yeah, so I want to show you guys, you know, wallpaper style themes, widgets. Uh, if you're wondering where I got the wallpaper, it's a, it's that app, Wally 4K. It has the best wallpapers by far. Uh, they're all very high quality and they all look fantastic. So I thought I was hitting on a, a wide color palette, not not just like each individual one. So I wanted the like the blue one, for instance, just to kind of change it up, get a different feel around the phone because uh, I'd like to change things up. And if you don't know what that is, it's One Piece. Great anime show. They have a live action out right now. Kind of jumping on the train of anime popularity so i know people are probably like i've already seen one piece and, but um i think it's good and i like the live playthrough it wasn't exactly to you know exactly what happened but of course <laughs> one piece is like a thousand episodes so there's like just so much to it but you got the galaxy themes going on i'm going to apply when i apply like this rainbow theme i just kind of want to show you what it looks like on the bigger device where the apps are stretched out to see if any of it actually is affected by it because these are obviously designed resolution wise for a display that is just a vertical candy bar format not this which is a completely different format
And then if you ever want to switch back to the main one, uh, just go ahead and do that. I'm kind of a kind of bummed I lost my uh, nice wallpapers, but you know the end of the world is not going to occur because of that. Yeah, you got every kind of thing. I was doing smart suggestions. I needed to like agree to something or they needed to let me know something before I did it. So that's why that did not apply. Um, but yeah, so you just, you know, put it there, you can you know, resize it. Something Apple does nothing about. Um, um, but yeah, I mean, just like the overall, I mean, everyone talks about customization, but it's more productivity, man. You know, I guess like there's smart suggestions based on like what you recently upload or what you recently opened, you know, and you got the weather, uh, we got that tuck a hoe. Tuck a how? Um, yep. 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 Yeah. So I was trying to show you guys where the crease is shown because of course, you know, that's a huge word for people. I wanted to kind of go into detail though. Like you only see it when it's turned to the side, like on an angle out in the sun. So you don't need to worry about it if you're just, you know, using the tablet mode where you probably would, which is just in a location where there is no bunch of sun. Like in a coffee shop, if you're away from the sun and it's not being shown directly on it, you're not going to notice anything, but you do notice it when the sun is kind of reflecting onto it. So this is a fun game if you ever play four player reactor. It's a really great game to play at the there's like different challenges and it's but one player two player kind of thing but this is what this is great for guys so it's this thing is perfect for two player games especially at dinner a lot of people say they miss out on you know iMovie iMovie um you know that game pigeon thing but i mean you have all this real estate you can play a ton of two player games i wanted to get an air hockey game and also show you guys what it's like just to download an application really quickly um just so you guys get a feel for how fast things go obviously it's going to be based on your wi-fi and also your internet connection I do have Wi-Fi. This thing is Wi-Fi 6 enabled, so that's, that's good. Wi-Fi 6E, something like, I don't know. It's basically, they also, they have like new names for, for Wi-Fi when they update it because it's catchy and it's memorable and it gets people to, I don't know, it's just it makes people excited, I suppose. Yeah, so there's Glow Hockey, which is a solid game for sure. I remember playing it on my iPod Touch a long time ago and then on the iPad, but this is like, you see, this, this is a perfect middle, you know what I mean? It's like a iPad mini essentially with the game size um of course you get the annoying ass team ad because team sucks um yeah i definitely accidentally locked the screen when i was trying to turn the volume up so you guys could hear it or down i'm not really sure uh yeah it was pretty loud uh if you haven't uh been able to figure it out yet i pretty much turn down the volume when i'm recording so you guys get a clean sound for recording and then i process the audio later but yeah we got one goal and we we're about to get smashed uh i literally get destroyed I mean, of course, my reaction should be a little bit better, but I was like, yeah, I'll do this. And then just some of you like air hockey nuts are probably thinking like, bro, this guy sucks. But I mean, like, see, look at that, bro. You get in like with a friend, man. It's like straight up perfect. Like, dude, it's just this is like the fun of this device, like the usability and in kind of like different scenarios where like a normal phone really couldn't be used or like it would be pretty uncomfortable. Like this phone unfolding into a tablet when needed is like perfect for like, you know, um, just like stuff when you're on a date, man real i like you know this is the stuff that i like doing i love playing <laughs> like different games with my wife and this is just perfect um this thing is really really a fantastic device and this is just showing the strengths of having a big display um something that really can't be matched anywhere else of course there are bigger displays this is a 6.7 inch or no it's a 7.6 inch display there are um eight inch displays like the xiaomi one and the xiaomi one actually has a better display up front so if you're going to get a foldable i would get the xiaomi one but i did not have the money for to <laughs> forward a tablet without a trade-in so this was essentially my um ability to get back in the phablet game the foldable tablet game um yeah and so i wanted to kind of finish this off last with a little bit of what else oh, i want to do this scroll test i believe i go to do I read it? I don't know. Yeah, clearly great at typing. <laughs> yeah, I think I was going on there because I'm not trying to have my Reddit account on there. I don't really know what's going to pop up. There's all always a bunch of random things that pop up if you have a Reddit account. I kind of don't up. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah. But yeah, I mean, the scrolling is fantastic on this thing, man. Like, you can't, you know, 120 hertz refresh rate, bro, just cannot be touched. I mean, other phones are great, too. But I mean, dude, like... This is just where Android shows it, like, flexes its muscles, man. Um, also, that looks like the face on the Call of Duty thing. I don't know if they actually put that on there, though. It's like, that looked the, literally the thing on the back. I don't know if that was, like, a Photoshop thing. kind of looks like that, but um, not really sure what I was doing here. Um, there was something I might have wanted. To, oh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys battery life really quickly, too. So I've had um, 5 hours, 55 minutes screen on time. I haven't been using it heavily today. It seems like when I use it heavily, I have to charge it at least once to 
two times. If you have a high wattage charger, you should be good to go. It does take a minute to charge, but get a basically a giant charging brick, like I use the 120 hertz or whatever, whatever the whole thing is. Uh, for I use the transformers charger one, and that thing goes hard. You know what I mean? And it charges it up fast, so I use that. Yeah. Um, you got this guy. A uh, rock falls on his head, but this is what I was talking about. See that literally would like knock that dude out, which is great. See that's. I mean, helmets are great in every scenario, bro. Every single time I've like crashed reading it on my bike i always was very fortunate i wore a helmet even if it's fucking dorky like i don't care i mean it's gonna be like who gives a fuck if as long as your head's protected you know i never used to have a stutter and it appeared out of nowhere uh, after i was biking so that's a bit interesting it's not nah, kidding i don't know i think i second guess what i'm gonna say that's probably what it is but anyway personal stuff no one needs to know <laughs> um yeah you know what i mean the tiktok stuff goes through like it's uh good to go all that stuff i was curious about that i didn't realize it was airsoft of course i see now but it's pretty funny it's getting messed up bro i don't know if you guys are into watching combat videos and stuff with this guy um Div Div is fantastic for that stuff i love like the first person war footage obviously war is pretty tragic um you know and it's not friendly for everybody so of course if that you're sensitive to that stuff i apologize that is just something i'm personally you know i'm not really into seeing people die i kind of look away when that stuff happens but it's it's interesting people seeing people get shot at and trying to survive i just it's like the rush there's like this crazy rush but i want to show you guys some objects off topic of course but i want to show you guys some objects that uh, i have a pretty big head but these are some regular adult size glasses frames i want to show you kind of what they look like next to that i wanted there's like this uh, i wanted yeah i wanted to just give you guys a few household objects that i randomly found there's like this basic ass like yeah i'm just kidding but there's a cool uh hey thanks mom you're a legend um it's like a little polaroid thing it's pretty cool and then i do believe i pull out a charger um yeah a little hcc charging brick just to kind of give you guys perspective on how small this device is because you never can really tell um but putting up common objects hopefully that you guys have i don't know clear the air on how big it is because you never really know until it's in your hands um and yeah sorry about the green thing going around guys it bothers me to no end <laughs> but yeah i do think you guys are gonna get some quality top notch there we go call of duty account login info bah, let's go yeah we had to sign in i want to show you guys how you can just use samsung password to pretty much input it and then use your fingerprint to put it in everything has that but i just thought it was cool I also like how it's not an in-screen in one. I like how it is on the side. It is a little bit of a different feature. Just kind of, it's it's nice having different features on phones, so I don't feel like I'm getting the same phone over and over and over again. Um, Because that's typically what's ha what's happened in the past, especially since I didn't get the native 24 gigs of RAM version of the 8S Pro. So I had to do the extended RAM, which is totally fine, but it definitely is not as, um, it basically feels like the other phone. You know what I mean? But yeah, um let's get it started so you guys are actually going to get to see that new map there was only a bit of brief gameplay on that map it's not a new map if you have mw2 but they're starting to import these same maps into the game so there's really hopefully like no difference i think that uh the loading time i am choosing to put you guys through is ridiculous and so i do apologize about that regardless you guys like the sand outfit do you like the theme of the app to like the music how it literally just is like the main one like there's nothing different i just feel like this is such a good thing that they ditched the old mobile kind of feel and went for the modern game setup to where it literally is just the same theme as the main one which is really placing this in a serious contender category but right here as you can see it's al assad I, I can't al assad i don't know honestly what it says can't really see it but if you guys know what maps is then more power to you but yeah i mean the graphics are not perfect but they do look good and i'm using the gun that i have online you know what i mean and so it's really cool like th this is essentially exactly how it would be minus like just the crazy graphics but for a mobile game with uh, very identical maps that are just straight up ports that are reduced like this looks good you know it's not perfect but it doesn't look bad and that to me is awesome especially with this big display like like the thing here guys is like it like i'm like just I, it feels so much better in your hand and the video can't really do this justice to how comfortable this is also i'm holding this a good two like one and a half to two feet away from my face because that allows the tripod on the desk as well as um yeah but either way sounds right anywhere i'm like who's that <laughs> but yeah basically uh it is super far away from my uh face so yeah i end up rage quitting too so if you guys are looking forward to the um nah but seriously yeah but i okay so in terms of the crash bandicoot gun i think it's awesome but also when you zoom in like it literally 
zooming in like the the, nor the gun does on mine like they really copied over all the mechanics it just feels so fantastic like like when you're looking out a window you can't see the top of the window as much as you would on like like objects go out of you and i think that this is something that i've been trying to say when i talked about this in the past i really think that this is why it looks so close to real life because as you get closer the objects up top disappear faster and it disappears in a way where it feels much more real and that is always the best is allowing just great perspective but this doesn't feel like call of duty mobile and that's what's so great because call of duty mobile is getting annoying it's like the the friggin packs and the battle pass and i get so sucked into those stupid purchases so you know it, it's really good for me to just not have that on my phones anymore i don't play call of duty mobile anymore i'm pretty much done with that it's all about warzone mobile now i'm sorry if you want to see some cod mobile gameplay but yeah i'm not a fan don't really want to play you know never I guess never say never um but for the most part i'm gonna be playing this because this is very fun to me and yeah i mean just on the full too buttons down low don't get on the screen so you got all that screen real estate boys looking it's looking freaking fantastic just imagine like going out in public and having call of duty like this in your hands you know what i mean it's just of course you you know you can do remote play and stuff um i do think that that is an option but there's just nothing like unfolding a display and being able to you know go hard in call of duty like you know what i mean um and on a double phone display this is just like for sure my favorite device favorite device i've said it like a million different times but i really mean it guys i just really have found nothing uh that resembles this as much and i wanted to do this video with less cuts because i'm trying to find a balance um i, I mean there are gonna be some downtime as you guys saw this video there's some downtime but i mean i also want to get that whole ordeal of where you guys feel like you're using the phone how do we get back to that um but yeah i'm also i'm just you know trying out new content it's much easier for me to try to content when i'm laying at a thousand subscribers than it is when i'm at two hundred thousand or a million or whatever which is the long-term goal um but yeah i mean so here's the thing of youtube randomly too the video is almost over actually i think it's almost over and yeah a minute basically if you are making youtube and you're starting out don't think of it as a competition because it's not like there's a limited amount of subscribers and people can only subscribe to one person. You're not, you don't need, you know what I mean? So just keep that in mind when you're making videos. Like, don't get discouraged. I find myself getting discouraged because I see the results of people, but that's because they keep grinding and putting videos out and just day after day. Um, to keep your head up if you're a creator, and that's obviously a message for me as well. But yeah, um, if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing, all of that. Don't mean to bug you guys with that. Sorry about that. I just, um, very much a habit but um yeah so just like let me know what you think i'm always curious as to your feedback if you uh want to leave a comment below um if you have any video suggestions or things that you want let me know but yeah what's up guys thanks for watching have a good one